Hi, my name is Mauricio Hernandez Serrano, and I am a graduate student at the Radio, Television, and Film Department at UT Austin. My short film, Ciruela, is a documentary that observes the day in the life of Mario Pacheco, a fisherman who works off the coast of Nayarit in East Mexico. Um, the main inspiration for the film is Mario himself. I've known him for some years now, and he is one of the more sincere and direct people uh, I've ever met and and not just direct in the way he engages with others but direct in the way he is in touch with with his points of view and his feelings and his ideas and and how he's able to communicate that is uh, incredibly unique and and in my opinion incredibly compelling so making a movie with him and about him had been something we had talked about previously uh, Originally, we, we thought about making something um, that kind of observed these encounters with marine wildlife, which are just uh, insane and, and deserving of, of their own movie. Um, but but as, as, we, as conversations um, became more, more concrete, uh, yeah, it, 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 it sort of like turned into a more introspective um, project. Uh, another important source of inspiration is that uh, my work and my research is, is, tr is devoted to trying to find pipelines that are sustainable. And I don't mean environmentally or not just environmentally. What I mean is, is production pipelines that are consequent with the context in which a movie is made. So uh, being Mexican and being a Mexico-based filmmaker, I don't have abundant access to financial resources, technical resources, or even human resources. So, um, so the challenge is how, how can you then create a movie within these parameters? And so uh, how can you create a fully uh, realized aesthetic? Uh, how can you create true intimacy? How can you um, shoot for longer to find um, compelling moments without um, without this infrastructure around it. So both of these were the main uh, uh, driving factors behind the movie and the main inspirations. Mm. To study and create films based on Latin American subjects is very important to me because I am a Latin American subject. Uh, I am Mexican. My family is Mexican. My friends are Mexican. People I love are Mexican. People I hate are Mexican. Uh, people I admire are Mexican. So uh, I, I think with any creative endeavor, it is very important to um, be very honest with, with who you are and, and where your imagination comes from. So so in that sense it's almost like i don't have a choice um and and but I, but i i wouldn't want to do it any other way uh so i just i just think it's important for that authentic authenticity to be to come through in in the in the final um in the end result uh and on a separate level i growing up in in mexico and in mexico city specifically um i didn't have surprisingly enough I didn't have a lot of access to to Mexican media or there wasn't a lot of Mexican media being produced for children for example or for teenagers for that matter so I grew up engaging with with imaginations that were foreign uh, but I didn't understand them as such it was just right like I loved spider-man for example and and that was that informed uh, my idea of heroism perhaps of what action could be um, so it wasn't until high school that I read a novel I had to as part of, a, of the syllabus uh, a novel from a Mexican author and and it was uh, a, a before and after and after it's impossible to even articulate uh, how intensely it, it just impressed me to uh, engage with an imag imagination that could only be communicated in in Mexican Spanish prose, uh, and suddenly I I I, I was finding um, parallels between the characters in the novel and and, and family members or, or myself and and expressions, and so it was uh, it was just a, such a full, well-rounded, uh, intense experience that that it kind of became very clear that that I would that that's what I would always be chasing after uh, with whatever I, I tend, whatever creative thing I made uh, just trying to make that something that could inhabit a similar space and hopefully um, uh, offer a similar experience to to someone else um, 
I don't hope that viewers take anything away uh, after they watch the documentary. I don't make films having a, a theme or having a message. Um, rather, the films that I love are those that offer um, a glimpse into a world that is incredibly complex and, and incredibly well realized, whether that is fiction, animation, documentary, but, but you, for an hour and 30 minutes or two hours, just get a peek of something that that feels uh, infinite so uh, and just like and very complex so that's kind of what I strive for with my work to offer glimpses into into other worlds um, and to invite you into an, someone else's world for for a short period of time so I'm hoping that with this documentary you get to inhabit Mario's headspace for a little bit you get to know uh, a little bit of his world, a little bit of how he lives, how he carries himself, um, how he thinks. So, so I, I don't hope that that people take something concrete away from it, but rather that they feel that they've been on a journey uh, that that otherwise they wouldn't have been able to. Um, Latin American film and media are important to me. Um, I think I would be repeating myself, but just because I am Latin American, so so I I, I um, think it is very valuable to engage with with imaginations that inhabit the same context that you do, because then you are getting access to points of view that can sometimes be um, in opposition to yours, can sometimes be in agreement with yours, can sometimes be completely. Uh, unexpected but ultimately they they inhabit the same um context right politically culturally geographically so it gives you other entry points to your reality going back to the previous example even if i love the spider-man i'm i don't live in new york i i don't live in the united states so so the values of that world to a certain extent i will never fully uh, understand and they will never be fully applicable to my reality so i i think it's so that's why i think film and, and media from latin america the scene in latin america producing latin america engaged with latin america is important simply because it makes your um inhabiting of of your context richer uh and, and so that's that's i think what is important about it